Hello, friends. It's Melissa with MelissaEsplin.com and Calligraphy.org. It's been a while, like over a year a while. <laughs> I took a bit of a hiatus working on personal and business projects, so posting just didn't really happen for me, and I decided that things were getting a little too complicated. I was putting way too much effort into these videos when really um, I just needed to get them out, just needed to do some videos. So we're back, we're simplifying, and I'm sharing with you this little experiment, exploration quote, that I did yesterday while uh, testing out some colors. I've got a client uh, who sent me this uh, paper. I'm doing save the dates on this paper with, uh, there's copper letterpress and white letterpress on here. It's very beautiful. So I'm matching with the, cop the copper letterpress and, you know, with the middle tone of this teal, it kind of presents some issues. So I want to make sure that the copper really pops and it's legible and readable and has enough contrast for uh, mail carriers to really actually understand and read what's going on. So each of these invitations can get to the recipient in a timely manner. So I am using... A custom holder from Huang Dao. It's got antler and ebony, which is amazing. I love it. I'm using a Miko G nib. And then for the ink, it's a combination of Perlex, uh, gum Arabic. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think the orange sumi and bleed proof white. And I normally don't add orange sumi or bleed proof white in with my metallics but this kind of was calling for it because you have the mid-tones of the teal and the mid-tones of the copper I needed to make sure that one of them was kind of popping just a little bit more so you had that contrast for deliverability for this mail so I um don't have an exact recipe for you pearlex you can just do a two to one or a three to one ratio of pearlex with gum arabic then add water to this you know the cons desired consistency and then i've added just a little bit of like drops at a time with the bleed proof white and the sumi so that's really what i did here mix it up with little facial spatula stir thing i don't even know what you call them but they're great and just went to town um I'm not using any guides here, which I should be, but it's just playful practice. If you'd like to learn more about calligraphy, check out calligraphy.org and uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching this and take care. Have a good one and happy lettering.